Oh, I finally found you. I need you to stay calm. This is gonna sound really crazy, man, but I'm from the future. I know, I'm surprised too. I can actually tell you that. Normally in a series, I'm not allowed to say that I'm a time leaper, but since technically it's my mind inhabiting my body from the past, I guess there's no chance of me running into my younger self and creating a paradox. So it, whatever, the future's really messed up now, man. Everyone's disbanded, no one's able to survive, everybody's at each other's throats. I just keep failing. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. There's important things I need you to do while I'm here. I need you to invest in Amazon right now. Yes, the bookseller. I need you to invest in them right now. I need you to tell your family that you love them. Go confess to your crush. Subscribe to Florida Animan. The channel doesn't exist yet because for some reason I didn't create it until way later because I'm an idiot. But if you can do all that, we have a chance. Also, do you have the dog? The dog is crucial for the plan. You do? Is that him? Good. I'm taking him with me. We need him for this. Okay, good. Now that we have that all squared away, I need you to shake my hand and then I'm gonna teleport back. That's the only way is to shake hands. Okay? All right. We did it. Oh, we did it. We got the best future. Oh. Boys all grown up. You're loaded because you have invested in the right stocks. You subscribe to this channel. Wholesomeness, delinquence. That is what happens when you combine these and create Tokyo Revengers. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I totally slept on this series when it was announced. I feel kind of guilty too because back when I did the sort of what will I be watching for the spring season, I actually cut the segment out of that I went over Tokyo Revengers because it just kind of seemed eh. And honestly, it took me back to like the titling kind of like get backers and it's just like eh. Like it didn't look substantial or anything. Fuck me. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Go check this series out. I read the entire manga. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I pretty much have just like lightly touched the anime because there's only still a few episodes. So I will binge it when the season is over in full, just because I know what happens now at this point. But no spoilers, just the series as a whole. It is absolutely worth your time. I was not ready for the absolute roller coaster that was this series. I'm gonna just put it like this. It's not a spoiler because it's literally in the first chapter and very beginning of it. This pertains a lot with time travel. And honestly, on one hand, I could count probably the amount of series that pull off time travel well and don't just totally shit the bed. And this is easily one of them. I genuinely love how they do the time travel where it's just kind of a jump to one point in time and back. So they go back and forth and there's just that. So every time time keeps moving forward, you can't go past what's already like this certain time frame back. It only goes 12 years. So once time moves, you can't go past that 12 years. So anything that happens in the past is permanent. You can't undo that. And it makes it so it's not just like live, die, repeat, keep doing like different things with trial and error. It's you have to get this right now or figure out a way to tweak it after the mistakes have been made. And I really enjoyed that. It is super interesting. Basic premise is just a kid kind of down on his luck, kind of a loser, I guess, essentially 26 years old and just kind of living in a crappy apartment, has a minimum wage job. It just kind of isn't really amounting to anything. <laughs> Anyway, so one day, our main character is just kind of lazing around after work, watching the news, when suddenly a report comes on that his ex-girlfriend from middle school has died in some form of accident or planned thing. It's just a complete mystery, along with her brother. And the significance of 
him feeling something when he notices that she died is that she was the only real girlfriend he ever had in his entire life and more so kind of the fondest moments he remembers from his past because after school he just kind of eh, he just kind of like went out into the world and kind of ended up where he is and nothing really significant so he's just kind of moping around at the train tracks after that when suddenly he just falls in in front of the train and then wakes up 12 years in the past with no explanation of did he just die what just happened why is he here and then once he start, starts piecing together that he's in the past but still with the mind of his 26 year old self so he's 14 with the mind of a 26 year old and is reliving the moments that happened before and he kind of remembers that the big thing in middle school and around this time was gangs and being delinquents and cool and the one weird thing i have to say is are the entire schools just like delinquents because there's like hundreds of people that are just in these gangs with uniforms and like all thugs but they're all like 15 year olds and it's just like I, I, it's kind of weird because it's like what is the severity of this like like are they pulling knives and guns or is this just kind of like spit fights and like ganging up on each other in the parking lot it it goes between the two so often but it gets to the point where it's like all right well you just kind of get into the mindset of like shit's real like we're just gonna kill each other for real instead of it just being let's settle this and just kind of beat the crap out of each other and that's that it's out for blood it gets vicious there is so much shock and betrayal and just like heartfelt moments in this between the characters that it's super interesting the cast in this i can't really even think of any character that's very one-sided or a single trait almost everybody in this felt like a realistic character you could pluck from the story and put in real life and be like they could exist like that is just a genuine person with a backstory and a life that's been lived and a future that hopefully they can make it to to survive and see but it's super interesting and the girlfriend when she's alive in the past and like trying to figure out how he can save her and alter the timeline to change the future i thought she would be like a weak side character i don't know maybe it's just me i feel like a lot of the time they don't really do the love interest super well they're more of an afterthought this character for the girlfriend is amazing she is so wholesome she's actually in a good amount to make you like get an attachment to her that feels warranted she's not just shoehorned in when she shows up it's like no yeah that makes a lot of sense like i i can believe that so i really liked the all the side characters the main character the main character is a true underdog Honestly, I think what people boast the most about this series is this is one of the best underdog series we've seen in a long time. He genuinely is a total bitch. <laughs> like, not so much so in like him how he kind of acts overall, but like he gets his ass kicked. This is a main character that runs up to the fight and throws himself in between fucking a rock in a hard place constantly knowing he's going to lose not like oh with the power of friendship we might win he is gonna lose like he gets his ass kicked so many times absolutely stomped out into the ground and keeps getting back up he it is so motivating and relatable because the fights he does win are like he earned it he literally grit his teeth and barreled through this fight and actually full-on earned it with all odds stacked against him. I mean, there's some fights in this that are just like, a dude that is literally unstoppable, but the way they like work in the fight to not just be him getting just picked up by the collar and just killed is, it, honestly, I am fully in. It was amazing how it's done. The other side of him being like, never give up and have tenacity and grit being the great part, he cries a lot. Like. Think of Deku Midoriya from My Hero crying and just jack it up like 10 times. This dude literally cries every like every other chapter. It is, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like, all right, dude, like, please stop. But then it's kind of weird because after a while you're like, okay, no, I cut. Yeah, like, I'm gonna cry with you. Like, 
this shit's rough. He gets screwed over so many times, and even when he does alter timelines and, like, really figure out how the system works, it still fucks him, like, over and over again. It's just, it's painful, but it's so much fun because it's, like, even when he gets thrown back down again, he's like, fuck. I gotta get back up. I gotta keep fighting. And it's so motivating. I genuinely, if you need a motivating underdog story, this is 100% it. As far as the art for the manga goes, the anime looks, it looks good. It, it's pretty much just kind of how you do an anime. I don't really have any complaints about it. But the manga, it ranges from just kind of being okay art, like to just good, to phenomenal there's some really good panels i think where the artist really found his stride in this series was in the action shots so fists being thrown knives being plunged and just like falling to your knees or like screaming up into the rain there's a lot of pages or parts in this book where it's both pages and it's just one picture i love that because it just like really is just all one scenery it really focuses on a moment and it really brings out the emotion from something you're only reading that's what i really loved in manga anytime somebody does that and every time he does it i swear it's just like yep there it is let me just soak it in there's no words or if it is it's just ah! like it's just pain or just like celebration and victory and you want to do the exact emotions with the characters in those moments i swear the action shots are so good in this so that's basically tokyo revengers i'm sure i could probably explain it a lot better but i don't i just don't want to spoil anything for this because the ride is worth it it is just there's so many twists that just to discover yourself are just really fun and to see where it goes because it changes significantly from where the basic premise goes to where it ends up and it makes it so much more fun from that essentially if you don't check out this series you're a punk and you deserve to get ganged up on by all the fellow delinquents <laughs> <laughs> Join this gang by subscribing to this channel. Greatly appreciate it. I don't know if I'm qualified to be the gang leader, but maybe I'll be second in command to myself. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. But leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Share it around with anybody you think would be interested. Comment below if you've actually been keeping up with this series and if what you think of it. Honestly, the anime, the manga, it, it all has just been super exciting to see these, I mean, for underdog series, speaking of that, just to come out of nowhere. <laughs> I'd never heard of this series, and then it just kind of shows up, and everyone's like, oh shit, this one's really good, like, and drew attention. That's an underdog story about an underdog story. <laughs> That's all I really have to talk about for today, though. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!